Saved. Help! Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back to the normal videos. Yes, enough of the gameplay, enough of the pushing. We are back to just daily normal Bobby BS. Now, as you guys can see, we're exactly 40,000 trophies. We're actually still first in the world at the moment. We're pushing a little bit of rank 35s, but today we're going to be showing you some insane siege defensive strategies. Now, there are two brawlers that reign upon above all other when it comes to defense, and that is going to be Spike and Lou. These two brawlers are absolutely broken when it comes to defending in siege, and we're going to show you how. So we're going to show you some one-on-one -on -one gameplay of just Spike and Lou versus a bot to start off the video. Then we're going to show you guys some real-life games, some actual games on ladder, and show you guys how to defend properly. Now, it's super easy to even let the bot do 0%, but it's it's basically impossible to get pushed if you use these strategies correctly. So we're going to show you guys what's up. Let's hop into the games, let's hop into the footage, and let's show you guys what's up. Okay, so how you want to defend a siege bot with... Mr. Lou is very easy. You're just going to drop down a super like so, and the bot is just going to slip in slide and get stuck. So as you guys can see, the ice is going to get it stuck, and all you want to do is continuously shoot at it. All that's going to happen is it's going to get frozen. Your teammates are going to be able to defeat it. If not, you know, the Ike's going to be able to do so. If you want to pop your invincibility, you can, and it's very easy to get 100 defense with just Lou alone. Now, you can obviously use other brawlers to take out their brawlers, such as Mortis and such, but Lou can solo the bot very, very easily. So how to defend with Spike? Now, there's a really good way of defending with Spike. It's super simple. All you want to do is plop your super down like so. It, like, literally in the middle of the map. You're going to walk up. You're going to do a ton of damage as much as you can. The bot's going to move forward, and you're going to respawn. By the time you respawn, your gadget's gonna almost reset, your shots are gonna reset, and you're gonna be invincible. You can walk into the bot and get really easy damage. If you have teammates, it's a very easy 100% defense. Just like Lou, these two brawlers are absolutely broken for siege defense, and I highly recommend using both of them in every single siege map. All right, so here we go into our first game. So we're gonna be going up against Colt, Spike, and Carl. So I'm assuming that this is a good team just based off of the comp, um, especially considering the range they have. Okay, so they get... A really good start. They're going to be getting the first bot, I assume. So this is going to be a little bit tough for us, unless Alec has a bolt. Okay, he has a bolt. We got really lucky over there. 2-2, two, two, tied siege bot. Hopefully we don't get hit by that Colt gadget, which is just absolutely broken, by the way. Um, so let's see if we can kill this Carl. Almost got it. Going to get this Colt stuck over here. Going to just make sure we don't get hit by that Colt gadget. That's going to be a free kill for us. Colt's trying to take us out. We got to stay away. Gotta always try and stay at full health since it can just gadget you out of nowhere and just hit that one shot. Just gonna go up to it and auto aim it. It's a really good play. Spike's gonna kill Alec, but Alec's gonna kill Spike. And it looks like we're gonna have four gems, or not gems, I guess bolts just chilling over here. Oh, this is not good. We're gonna go down. Gonna be able to get the kill though. So as the game stands right now, it looks like we're gonna be able to get the first bot. Um, we'll see if we're able to one push. This is not looking too good. We're just gonna throw that over there. Gonna be able to get one kill, but they're gonna defend that really well. Please, we need this kill so bad. Okay, it looks like we're fine. Looks like we're gonna get the bolt. Yep, that's it right there. Oh, I didn't get the kill, but that's still gonna be game. Really well played, and unfortunately, we didn't get to defend it all, but still, I suppose 0%. So the challenge stays on alive. The challenge does not die. We're gonna hop on over into the next game. We won this game, you guys don't have to see the end. Let's got it, let's get on into it and hop into the next one. All right, so here we go into our second game here. Gonna be going up against Dyna, Tick, and Rosa. So again, a very hard comp to let do 0%. Now, obviously, if they don't get a bot, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Um, but they do a lot of damage from very far away from the Ike, which is obviously gonna make things difficult. So it looks like we got that team wipe to start off. You know, I might try and sneak them some bolts, actually. You know, just give them a bolt. I'm gonna get this one over here and just let this Rosa kill me. Rosa! Rosa, kill me! It didn't... Okay, well, it didn't get the bolt. So I guess that's not the best strategy. I kind of just died. Okay, so they got a grand total of zero bolts that game. We're gonna run it back. Go to the next one. Unfortunately, they got these guys couldn't cut it. So let's hop into the next game and let's see what's up. All right, so here we go into our next game. Hopefully these guys can get a bot. I'm just gonna pretend I'm lagging or something so these guys can actually get a bot. Like, you know, just do a little bit of a lag walk. Not gonna take a shot. Gonna like shoot up here or something. So it seems like there's literally nothing I can do. I'm just gonna try and walk in and give them this bolt, I guess. Okay, I cashed it in, so I guess not. So 
this is a little bit difficult. It looks like we're gonna one push here, so I guess we're gonna run this one back again. Let's hop into the next game and let's hope we get a defense. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We have agreed as a team to let them get the first spot, which is very epic, so we can actually defend for you guys. So we're gonna let them get this one. Raz is just gonna walk by. We're gonna gain our super because it is actually important that we have our super when we defend. It's very important for Spike also to have super, I guess. You know, it's not the hardest or worst case scenario, but with Lou, you definitely wanna have it. No, Alec. Alec, why? I can't believe Alec just did that. So they got the tie. Very sad. Um, I don't really know what to do now. We're probably going to win this, so let's fast forward to the end of the game. Let's see what happens. If we win it, we're going to move on to the next. Okay, so moving back up the map, we have a 15 bot. These guys managed to get three total bolts. And they're actually taking out our bot pretty well, so we might have to defend here, which would be pretty OP. Okay, that's good. So we're going to have to defend here. Going to use one of my gadgets. Don't think it's going to be useful, but judging by how the things are right now, it looks like we're going to have to defend. Now, in an all-out push, where they have a thrower, specifically a tick, a Carl, and a spike, it's going to be pretty difficult to get them to do 0%. It's very important that Alec has a super if we want to hold them to 0% when they have such a strong bot. But we're going to see what we can do. Their bot's going to come down. I'm sure Alec has saved a gadget or two for this. Hopefully he has. Five seconds left. Now here is our chance. Got to be able to get some kills. Alec, oh no. Alec is failing his job right now. Where's the bot? The bot's on this side. Okay. Going to make our way over here. Hopefully we only get hit by one. Bot gets stuck over there. Alex's job is to walk in, do damage. Alec is not going to be able to. And they are going to do some damage. So we have failed pretty bad at our task. We did win the game. But we failed at what we were supposed to do. 100% blame goes towards Alec26. So let's run it back and let's try and defend. I guarantee our next bot will be 100% perfect defense. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is. Okay, so here we go into our next game. So I have... Confirmed with both my teammates that we're gonna allow the bot to happen We're gonna allow the enemy to get our bot or get their bot first and You know, we're finally gonna show you guys a defense here So we're gonna charge up our super obviously still letting them get the bot uh, Gonna be able to get that kill. Okay. I have my super Alec needs his super these guys have got the bot after five games of playing They finally have it. So what's the goal here? Our goal is to get the bot stuck on on this lake we're going to tie it over here, and the goal for Spike is to just shred the bot whenever it can. It can be in the zone, it can be out of the zone, but whenever the Spike has a clear opportunity to just shred the opponent's bot, that is when you want to go at it. And this might actually be better if they don't get the first bot and they get a mid-tier bot, so you guys can see just how strong that this defense actually is. Instead of just defending an easy bot, we're going to be able to defend an extremely hard one, hopefully. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to let the Gene just get this bolt, because I don't want it. Hopefully Raz does too. Um, I'm really scared we're gonna tie this. I really don't want to tie this, but Raz is picking up all the bolts. Please kill Raz. <sighs> Enemy team, please. Please, Daryl, pick it up. Okay, it looks like... Oh, no. It's gonna be a tie. There's no way we're gonna get into a tie. Okay, so yet again, we're gonna go into the next game. We'll show you guys again in the next game what's gonna happen. Not even gonna show you the end of this game. Let's just run it back, and we'll show you guys the next one. All right, so here we go into this game now. We are guaranteed to have the other team get first bot this game because we don't want to play these brawlers anymore. So we're going to let it happen. Carl, either way, is going to get this first bolt no matter what happens. Alex Lane has to just... Alex going to walk away. Thank you, Alec. We're going to get our supers here. That Daryl is going to pick up that bolt. So they're going to have a four bot, maybe a three. I don't know. I suppose they're going to have a three because I'm just going to pick this one up. So here we go, the moment we have been waiting for this entire video. We finally get to defend. So what Alex's job is, is to go up and just absolutely destroy the bot. Bot is going to be on the right side. And what our job is, is just to get it stuck right over here. So as I said, just going to plop that down. Bot's going to get stuck. Alex going to move forward. He's going to take it out as best as he can. He's going to laser it. And now this bot cannot move. Now, unlucky for us, Barley had super, so was able to hit a couple shots. But as you guys can see, the combination for defense is insane. And no matter how big this bot is, it is not getting a shot on your safe. Or Ike, I should say. It is not going to touch it at all. It's going to get stuck on that water. Your spike is going to destroy it. And the Ike is just going to wail down at it. Nothing's going to be able to be done about it. And the only people that can do damage, the only brawlers, that, or the only things I should say that can do damage, are going to be the opposing team's brawlers. Now, they might be able to get a bot here again. They are. So we get a double defense, actually, in a game, which is pretty insane. Not going to lie. 
Um, bot's gonna be on the right side here, so we're gonna have to defend this again. Now, Alec doesn't have his super, but we're gonna get the bot cut or caught here. Alec's gonna do a good amount of damage, gonna push him back, and again, there's no way that this bot's gonna be able to do any damage whatsoever. Gonna defend it perfectly. The only thing that happened, obviously, was the Barley's gonna be able to hit our Ike, but that's gonna be it. If we had another brawler that can defend, and by defend, I mean just grab the other brawlers, then that would be pretty good. BB can do it fairly well, but something like a Mortis would be the best at it. But as you guys can see, just perfect defense, nothing that the other team can do in any way whatsoever. And then Lou and Spike obviously are just two really good brawlers in general. Both have pretty good damage when it comes to attack. So, I mean, there's no downside of playing these brawlers at all. Very good brawlers to play, and I would highly recommend doing so. So, finally, we got the defense. We got two in one game. We're going to be able to finish the video over here. Going to get this win. So, let's finish off this game right now. Hopefully, we can grab that one push. Doesn't really matter since, you know, a win is a win either way. But that is going to be the game. Let's hop into the outro. And that's it. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, I apologize that we weren't able to defend more times. But two times in one game is pretty good. The bot did 0% to our Ike, which is really good. Again, unfortunately, Barley did a little bit, but the bot never touched our Ike, which is amazing. So that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, reminder, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment. That's gonna be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.